So this is going to be a really quick tutorial on how you can synthesize snare drums in Whitel. The basic setup of this is pretty simple. We're just going to be using a sine wave and some white noise. And how the snare turns out is going to be mainly dependent on how you shape the envelopes that control the pitch and the volume of the sine wave and the white noise. So let's just change this to a sine wave and we can start by using LFO1 on the pitch of this. If you've ever synthesized a percussive sound or if you have used a drum synthesis plugin where you can actually see the pitch envelope, you will probably know that the shape is going to be something like this. So now let's set this to envelope mode and also change this to seconds here. So we have a bit more control with the frequency here. So we can come back to this one later because I think it's easier to dial this in once we also have the white noise in place. But before we engage that, we are going to use LFO2 on the level of the sine wave. And again, we are going to change this to envelope mode and also to seconds here. And with this envelope, we're going to control the actual shape of the snare. So we can start with something like this. So this is fine for now. I would now engage the white noise here and just use LFO3 on the level of that one. And now actually start just by dialing this roughly in. And also change this to envelope mode as well and two seconds here. So in this area of the body of the snare, and this is now more pretty much just the tail of it, but I think what usually changes the sound quite a bit is if we also put some white noise on the attack of the sound. So I would now actually go back and just make some adjustments to the other two LFOs. So for now, this sounds quite good to me. Another thing that you can do is use one of the filters down here and just route the white noise sample to it. And then you can just cut some of the lows of the white noise and especially also use the drive down here, which just gives it a bit more high end. I would also use some of the effects here. Distortion always works quite well. Might even be using hard clip. And then I also usually like to use an equalizer to mimic this movement. So in this case, I'm probably going to use just the envelope that's controlling the volume of the white noise and just put this on again here. You can boost the fundamental and you can either just boost it or also use an LFO. And then of course you can also just use some reverb, but I usually like to leave it quite dry and then I'm just going to apply a reverb afterwards depending in what kind of context I'm going to be using the snare. Now obviously this is a snare that you could just use for music production, but I like to use it as a layer for a lot of my sounds. I'm just going to bounce this. A quick example for this would be to use it for a hit. Layer a few things here. Well, let's turn the volumes down here. Snare is too loud, maybe a bit of low end. So let's just use a kick sound. Maybe even a sub layer. And we can also just quickly fade these elements in here a bit. We are giving the snare and the kick a bit more room. Some quick processing on this. So with these kind of snares, you can easily create punchy elements outside of music production as well and just use it for your general sound design. 